Yeah, he's not playing Ice Climbers. <laughs> I can tell you that right And now. he's also got a Mega Man. Yep. I can attest that Matt's Mega Man is super, super solid. Yeah, so I remember. So we're in for a very interesting matchup. This is going to be kind of a battle, a battle to see if Matt Beach can get his setups and zoning going before Krom can invade that space. That's going to be a tough hill to climb because Krom's basically entire existence like revolves around being able to get in your face and just destroy you as fast as possible. It's oh, yeah. working out pretty well for Sayuki so far. Yeah, now he's got the speed, he's got the hard hitting, and he's got the reach to also kind of get past that wall. Oh, good. Auto parries are always the coolest thing to see, <laughs> just because to see how the like it interacts with projectiles like that. I love the multiple hitbox on the pair. Just yeah. the makes me happy, man. This pairing in general makes me happy. I wish like it was better against pairing air normals, but so it would be more like third strike, where if you like just parried it, you can just do whatever. But eh, it's whatever. So I have to wonder going in because I I see what you mean by like. Mega Man getting his setups, but I honestly, I, I hate this matchup for Mega Man. I have to wonder if Mad Beach knew who Sayuki was uh, before going into this, and if he would have chose Mega Man if he knew that he played Krom. Well, he's got a Leaf Shield going, got a bit of the center stage, but Sayuki once again getting in, getting a lot of really good, solid, consistent damage. Yeah, a, a lot of this matchup is just going to be like, if Matt Beach can find a time and a moment to get away, then he could potentially start actually doing some stuff, like setting up with lemons, throw out a couple of his, his meaty blades or whatever. But, like, if Sayuki gets in on you, getting away as Mega Man is a completely different story. Yeah, Sayuki's just been stuffing Matt consist very, very consistently. It's oh like Matt God. has not had any room to... Is he dead? He's oh, dead. Yep, yep. He's dead. Yeah, absolutely. 100% <laughs> dead. The one time that entire game where Matt actually got hit by all... Or just got into the up B vortex properly. Every single other time, it usually was an up B out of shield, which just knocked him away, and he didn't get into the falling hit. Being, being a Krom main is like being high on sugar all the time. Like, just <laughs> nonstop. Like, I've had 10 pixie sticks before this tournament. Like, it's just... It's just so abrasive. Everything from I, I, would, I wouldn't say high on sugar. I would say high on something else. Okay. <laughs> Caffeine. Not not to get not to get too <laughs> not to get too non esports here, but they're the kind of players that would come in and be like, Did I miss the five o'clock <laughs> did I miss the five o'clock free crack giveaway? <laughs> Three, two, one, he went with Mega Man go! again. Alright, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just dumb. Alright, so we see something in this matchup that I don't, obviously. Also, I don't see people play base Mega Man a whole lot, now that I think about it. They're usually choosing a different ult, so I respect it, honestly. Oh, using the forward air to interrupt the up B. Interesting. I guess you can upper, uh, up, yeah. interrupt it on the way up. Alright, just a couple of abrasive forward airs. We're used to seeing those from Sayuki. Read the roll on the back air. Right now, it's just sort of coast to coast in this man, trying to get him off stage as much as possible. I like it. Back throw. Oh, I think he wanted the metal blade to go somewhere else, but I would assume so. <laughs> yeah, uh, Krom's neutral B, which I've been seeing a lot. I see Krom neutral B a lot more from Sayuki than I have pretty much anybody else who plays Krom in the Midwest. Uh, like. Being able to catch Mega Man's up B is certainly a thing you can do with his neutral B if he's just a little too far away from ledge, so you gotta be mindful of that. Nice. I like that! Alright! That's the checkmate situation. That is pretty much the bane of Krom, is that if you can just get Krom into that specific situation where they have to up B and they go past ledge, checkmate. Yeah, Krom definitely... Technically has a counter to that. If you if he just oh, uh, Techno that stage spike. Yeah. It's rough. And now now this game has all of a sudden become very, very tough to win for Matt Beach. A lot of uh aside from like the capitalization on Krom's recovery, a lot of the times being able to kill with Mega Man in this matchup requires you to get close to Krom, which is something you just really can't afford to do most of the time. Oh why? I felt that. I felt that in my heart. Oh, my bones. That's one of those clips where you can just sort of slow down the smash attack. 
and like put in like a Sarah McLaughlin song in the background and just watch as he descends into his own demise. Like in the arms of the angel to gone. That was that was that was harsh.